This is a project, Art Wars, that's been running for a few years and um, was inspired, first of all, by just taking a normal white stormtrooper and turning him pink. That was the first one, the pink stormtrooper. Star Wars is something that is very mainstream, you know, appeals to all ages. Um, and the, the helmet, the object of the helmet, is one of the most iconic, is the most iconic object in film history. So when people walk in, they're going to see a selection of 14 different Stormtrooper helmets by some great artists, including uh, Ben Ein, Brand Simonson, Joanna Vasconcelos, uh, Philip Colbert. Joanna Vasconcelos, she likes to work a lot with crochet and sort of knit wear, so hers is very typical of the sort of work that she does. I should talk about Lauren Baker's, the neon piece. She always works a lot with neon. So her piece is obviously a lot of neon inside a, a helmet. And you've got Philip Colbert's hamburger helmet. He's using a hamburger because in his work at the moment, he's making a lot of references to hamburgers. Then we've got um, Carl Griffiths, who always works using tea. He like paints with tea and rum and these different sort of... So he's, he's incorporated that into his helmet. Ben Ein always works with letters, big letters. You'll see his work around London on walls. The proceeds from Art Wars goes to two charities. There's the Missing Tom Fund that I set up to find my brother, uh, who left or well, went missing in 2003. Myself and my family have been searching for him ever since. And shows like this are able to like get his face out there and get more uh, awareness for him and often lead to more sightings and more progress in... In, in the search for him. There's an empty plinth with no helmet on, and that's actually in uh, homage to my brother. So it's a missing it's a missing piece. Maybe if we if I ever find him that we could put some sort of piece on that as a as a sign that he's been found.